Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. For this week's video, it's gonna be all about my tattoos and what they mean and why I got them. The way I'm doing this video this week is I got a little Halloween basket, which I was trying to get the blue basket, but I could not find one for the life of me. So we had to go with the pretty purple one. So I wrote down one through 11 on sticky notes and I'm gonna stick them in here and I'm gonna just randomly pick one and discuss what that tattoo means. Make sure you stay to the end of this video because there's a few things I would like to discuss with you guys at the end. Well, let's get started. All right, guys, here we go. First one is, I'm kind of nervous about this. Let's see. Number seven. So my number seven tattoo is actually an add-on to the top tattoo of that. I know that kind of sounds kind of weird because I haven't showed you that tattoo yet. I got this tattoo done and when I was finished with it, I decided it didn't look right so I added number seven to it. We went anywhere from a genie lamp to flowers and I really like the idea of the flower. So it's really not much to that tattoo, it's just kind of an add-on to make the piece look better. What do you guys think? Did it make it look better or do you think I should have went with something different? Let me know down below. All right, let's see what else we got here. Number 10. So my number 10 tattoo I actually got done in August of 2016. This took me three sessions to finish, so it was not completed until October 2016. This tattoo is a tribute to my parents. They are still alive. My parents love flowers. Now when I tell you they love flowers, every house I've ever lived in as a little girl, it was completely covered in palm trees, flowers, so I wanted to make something special for my parents because they've been my backbone. My mother is my best friend. What? <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, got a little emotional there. So my mom's my best friend. So this this tattoo means a lot to me. Hold on. <laughs> Stop. Jeez, I've never got emotional over a tattoo. Okay. So my parents are the type of people that will always be there. I could call them at any time of the hour, and they would be here for me. They've been through everything with me. So this tattoo means a lot. Um, the palm trees, my parents love palm trees, especially my father, so that's why the palm trees are there. These are my mom's favorite flowers. So I asked my parents, you know, kind of what they would want and stuff like that. It does have my mom and my father's name on it. I designed this tattoo myself, which I will show you now. When I talked to my tattoo artist, we discussed certain things. I wasn't gonna do a sunset background, but then when she did it all up, I was like, oh, we gotta add a little bit more to it. So then that's when the sunset come in and I wanted to add birds because my parents have a bird. It's not these birds, but I thought it would be cool to represent the birds in the tattoo. So that's pretty much what this tattoo represents for me and it means quite a lot to me. All right guys, let's see what we get. So number 11 tattoo is a difficult tattoo to talk about at times. I will do my best to, I guess, explain why I got this tattoo. I got it done in January of 2019 it is actually a cover-up tattoo. I went from a few things and decided at the end she drew a really pretty lion. So this tattoo represents my zodiac sign and it makes me feel empowered at times, I guess, because Leos are strong. So this is a beautiful tattoo. I absolutely love this tattoo. It's not finished right now because money, you know, it's expensive for tattoos. So I have to get a jar pretty soon and start saving up. But eventually I will get it done. I can't wait to see it completed though. But that's really this tattoo means. Let me know down in the comments if you ever got a tattoo and maybe it was something you just didn't like, it didn't look good, or you just wanted to cover it up. So let me know down below, guys, if you have any tattoos that you covered up. All right, let's see, let's see. Number two. Number two tattoo, I got done in May of 2013. I went by myself and got this tattoo done. What this tattoo represents for me is I do believe in God and I always will believe in God. And the infinity sign in the faith, which a lot of people have, they may have it in different designs, maybe with mom, sister, dad, whatever it is they believe in with the infinity tattoo. But for me, it was the faith. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I am better than anybody else. I'm not that perfect Christian, but I definitely believe in God and I always will. And that's what that tattoo represents for me, guys. So let's pick another one. Right. 
to number three. Okay guys, number three tattoo I got done in July of 2013. This tattoo means a lot to me as well. I absolutely love this tattoo. I designed this tattoo myself with a little bit of artist help in it, as you will see. So this tattoo represents my children. The reason you see the blue and the pink, that actually represents their birthstone. So as you can see, Max is blue, and Malia is supposed to be more pink, but he put more reds into it to kind of blend in with the color there. And to me, butterflies represent for me as a child, you are growing and we are there to nurture them. And then they grow up and they go into their own and they spread their wings. So it's no difference with a butterfly. They become a little warm into a cocoon, cocoon, and then they turn into a beautiful butterfly and they venture out on their own. And that's what that tattoo represents for me. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering where the other tattoo down below, what that means, and I will get to that, but just not yet. So we're getting close and down to the nitty. And we got maybe like five, six more in there. Let's check it out. Oops. <laughs> Number nine. I got this on in December of 2013. Now this tattoo is the Gimme Kiss logo for my ex's YouTube channel brand. And I know a lot of people have asked me if I was gonna cover this tattoo up, if I was gonna keep this tattoo. And to be honest with you guys, I'm probably gonna keep it because even though we are not together anymore, I still helped that channel even though I was not the face of the channel. I was on the behind the scenes with his channel, helping out with the kids, the household, everyday things so he could be able to grow his channel, work, go on these trips, do these videos for you guys. The other day, my friend made a comment and it just really hit home you know she said when it comes with the band you have the singer that everybody recognizes but they forget about the bad people like the guitarist the piano all of those people make the band but they're behind the scenes even the managers it's all a group effort so this tattoo even though we're not together I feel I am a part of it I help grow that channel so as far as getting rid of this tattoo I probably will not get rid of this tattoo let's get on to the next one Right. Number one. First tattoo I ever got done, I went by myself. I got this tattoo done in April of 2013. I was scared out of my mind. He actually used lidocaine, I'm not gonna lie. What they do is they take the gun and they outline it with no ink into it and then they put lidocaine onto your tattoo which it kind of numbs it a little bit. It did help, I was really nervous. This tattoo at the time represented my marriage. So this tattoo is no longer there anymore guys. I do have a picture of it. I actually designed this tattoo as well myself. For everyone that's new here and the people that already know I am no longer with Omar. So I decided to get this one covered up. So if you've seen when I talked about the earlier tattoo of my lion, that is actually the cover up for this tattoo. Now you may be thinking, well why did you cover up this tattoo but you're not gonna cover up the gimme kiss tattoo? Well because we are no longer married, so I felt there's no need to have this on my wrist to represent our marriage anymore. So that tattoo is gone, but that's what that tattoo meant. It was for our marriage. I guess that's really it on that tattoo, guys. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Number four. All right guys, number four tattoo I got done in November of 2013. If you guys have noticed, I had a lot of tattoos done in the year of 2013. In the year of 2013, I'm telling you, once you get one tattoo, forget it. You wanna get every tattoo you've ever loved and you start getting all these tattoos. So this tattoo right here is Ethan, and Ethan is my stepson. I love him as my own child, so of course, the reason I didn't add him on in the beginning, again, tattoos are expensive, so when I got the extra money, I was able to add Ethan on because I do consider him my son. He also has the same color as orange for his birth date, so that's really it with that number tattoo, so he completed the sleeve when I got his done. Oh my goodness. Okay, number eight. I got done in July of 2014. It was for my birthday. I designed this tattoo again. I was on Pinterest and I seen this beautiful cross and I was like, wow, that's so beautiful. But you never wanna steal other people's tattoos sometimes, you wanna make it your own. And I absolutely love the birds. Like I wanted birds so bad. So when I seen this tattoo, it, it reminded me of the cross can set you free. And that's why you can see the birds actually coming out of the cross. And that's what that tattoo represents for me. It's just that the cross can set you free, guys. 
That's my opinion though. All right guys, we're down to two tattoos left that I will explain to you. Let's see. Whoops. Number five. I got this tattoo done in November of 2013. C13. My best friend Leonella and I, she showed me this tattoo and I thought, wow, that is an amazing tattoo. I absolutely love the saying of it because we all tend to forget and it's a great reminder that you just have to let things go sometimes. Now her tattoo is a little bit different than mine. The only thing different is the balloon color, which you will see, but it's definitely a great reminder that when you're getting upset or you can't change something, you just have to let it go and that's what that tattoo represents for me and when I got it done with my best friend as well. This is the last tattoo here. Let's see what we got. Number six. So I got this tattoo done in 2014. I'm not sure exactly the month. I don't even have me a video or a picture of it. I couldn't find anything, but I was going back through my photos and it said 2014, so we're gonna go with that. This tattoo has quite a funny story. I was on Pinterest again looking at tattoos and I seen this really beautiful little kitten tattoo that went behind the ear and that's actually what I went in to get. Now my artist at the time was busy, so he recommended me to see another artist there, which I was okay with. So I looked at his work and he did amazing work, so let's do this. So he starts drawing this tattoo and I look at it and I'm like, what? That is so cool. I'm like, let's just go all out and let's get this tattoo done. So as you can see, this tattoo right here turned into this tattoo right here. Now believe it or not, with this tattoo, I let the artist do whatever he wanted to do. I didn't even look at the colors. I trusted him 100%. The only thing I could say about this tattoo that I'm a little iffy about is the stench. What do you guys think? When you see this tattoo, do you think it's a smelly cat? <laughs> so with this tattoo, he put the stencil on and at the time Omar did tell me that it was a little bit high, but being that he was a new artist, I was afraid because they have to wipe off the stencil and they use the line work from the stencil to make sure your line works good. So if you wiped it off and didn't get all the line work done and moved it down, it could have messed up the tattoo. So I just went ahead and went with it. So that's why I added the flower down below so it wouldn't look so weird with the cat just being like in the middle of my leg. And that's where that tattoo came from. I do love cats, but it was just a random tattoo. Really didn't mean anything, I just really liked the tattoo. I actually might still get that cat tattoo behind my ear. I still think it's absolutely adorable. I hope you enjoyed my video on my tattoos. But before we go, I wanna discuss a few things with you guys. The other day, I go onto my comments, and I won't say who she was, but I didn't know this. So I have to say, I never realized, guys, I either had ghosts in my house, or I had people that I had no idea were living with me. Because this woman told me she never seen me clean or cook. Oh my God, I didn't know that I had someone living in my house. It's so crazy to think that, people. I must have lots of ghosts because she never seen me clean or cook. I didn't know she lived with me. Anyway, just blew my mind. The other thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is my last week's video, I told you guys about my test results. So I'm gonna actually show you my test results and I'm gonna show you what they missed. Now I also wanna mention something else. That time I went for the test and I actually went with my mom early that morning and I got a test done. I paid out of pocket for this test. And it was a test to check your liver, your gallbladder, everything, your carotids, to see if you have any signs of stroke, carotid diseases. Now my big concern is they also miss things. So now I'm wondering, did they even do their test right? Well, I'm gonna show you guys right now. And I'm gonna show you on camera so you see. So at the bottom of your paperwork, you always have this part here where it says impression. Now you can see here where it says, which I told you guys last week, I have a small hemogemio right lobe of the liver. Okay, so great. I know what it is. For the last almost year, I've been having some issues with nausea and vomiting. I took it to be with stress and everything like that. When I went to the doctors, he never mentioned anything about this. Now, I did ask myself to see my GI doctor because of these issues. His response was something I'm not even gonna say on camera. So when I get home that night, I'm reading my results and look what it says. Post, now this word here, I'm just gonna tell you, it means gallbladder changes. Guys. I got my gallbladder removed in 2008, and now I'm having changes. This could be the whole reason that I'm not feeling well and I keep losing weight. So please, read these results. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you this one as well. As you can see here, this was an ultrasound, a complete abdomen ultrasound. Liver appears negative for mass, cyst, or fatty infiltrations, which I just showed you on my CT scan that it said that I have something there. 
Now for gallbladder, it just says removed. The main purpose of this is please, don't always assume your doctor tells you everything. Get your results, read them yourself, because if I would have never read that, I would have never known that I've had some changes with my gallbladder, even though it's not there, so I don't know what's going on. But I do have an appointment this Thursday to see my GI doctor, and hopefully next week's video, I will update you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I also hope you guys enjoyed my outfit. I tried to go for a, I can't really remember the decade. I wanna say like maybe 50s, like you know the tide when it goes out. I hope I did a good job. Down below, leave me a comment and let me know what era the dress is kind of. I know it's Halloween-ish, but we are in the month of Halloween. Please stay tuned. I have a giveaway coming up in the month of November, which details will be out in my next video. It's going to go to one family, guys. So don't want to miss out on that. Please give this video a like, share your video to your social media, and comment down below whatever your heart desires. If it's about your tattoos, or anything that you wanna ask, I will try to reply. Until next week, guys, have a great week. Bye. Take me in your arms, do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around when I need some loving, baby. And I'll never let you die.